Hi there. You look like you're about to start playing Nelly Kutelot's Spoonbeaks Ahoy HD for the first time. Thanks. I'm Alistair, I made the game, and I wanted to tell you that this game features a very cheap voiceover featuring me, real Nelly, and literally no one else. Think of it as a director's commentary where I do a series of questionable accents. In answer to your question, yes, this feature can be turned off, but for now, sit back, not that far back, relax, and try to enjoy Nelly Coutelot, Spoonbeaks Ahoy, HD! Yeah. Waken Nelly Kudalot. Nelly? Sleepy time now. Nelly! Avast! Steal yourself before turning to behold the spectre of the dreaded Captain Bloodbeard. Ugh. Truly, many tides have come and gone since I danced the hemp and jig. So tis the fate of us all. So tis the fate of us all. But now, Captain Kootalot, I return from the depths of Davy Joneses. A brief reprise only to see ye. Me? Why? My time above the waves grows short, but I tell you this. In life, I was the scourge of the South Seas and champion of all creatures sweet and defenseless. That mantle I now pass on to ye. Really? What does that mean? Yonder island be a salty backwater called the Barony of Meath, once famed for a mighty fleet of saucy birds called Spoonbeaks. I love Spoonbeaks! For many days now, not a Spoonbeak has been seen on the Isle of Meath. What? They have vanished, every one, and that be a terrible omen of ill fortune. They must be found. Accept ye the quest? Aye, aye, Captain Bloodbeard. I'll conjure a ghostly current to carry ye to the shores of Meath. Unravel the mystery, Nelly, and save the Spoonpeaks. I give you these words. Look to the Baron. Farewell. Bye. Well, it's a good thing I'm wearing my adventuring corset. It's Nelly time. If I want to explore this island, I'll be needing a map. I can't take it. It's screwed to the wall. Avast! What? If you want to peruse the fabulous rogues gallery, there'll be a mandatory minimum donation of one dolder. Eh? This is like Soviet Russia. How? Well, there's a lot of vodka about. I don't want to just tear it off the wall. I wonder if that's the famous Da Vinci cod. It's of a galley. Ahoy, fellow sea dog. <laughs> uh, what? I was laughing at the idea of you being a pirate. <laughs> That's laughing. That it be, little miss, not a pirate. I am a pirate just like you, except cleaner and prettier, less smelly, and without that world weary glaze to me eyes. <laughs> you aren't nice. No, I'm a pirate. 
Shut up. I'm the fearsome pirate Nellie Cootalot. I'm so piratey I can... Splice the main brace in under 15 seconds. I can do it in 10. Curses. I'm so piratey I can... Drink a barrel of grog in one swig. I drink two before getting out of my hammock. Depressing. I'm so piratey I can... Fart the alphabet. I don't even know the alphabet. That is pretty piratey. I'm so piratey I can... Whip up a delicious ship's stew. That sounds delightful. The secret is adding jasmine just before the boil. I'm so damn piratey I can... Beat an octopus at arm wrestling. Well, let's arm wrestle right now. Uh, I think I left my ship's headlights on. I'm so piratey I can... Oh, I don't need to impress you. I'd better haul anchor. Huh. Can I take this map? I don't know, miss. That map be steeped in nautical history and pirate lore. It don't belong in the hands of landlubber Grockle. It says, A Tourist's Guide to the Barony of Meath. Okay, take it. Now I can explore the island. Ooh, look, an indigo tankard. I don't want anything from the shelves. I don't want to just tear it off the wall. Ooh, look, an indigo tankard. Oh, hi there. Welcome to the scurviest pirate bar in the South Seas. Captain Nelly Cootalot, at your service. May I be asking, what brings you to the Barony of Meath? I'm on a Spoonbeak rescue mission. Well, I sure hope you get lucky. Where could I find a Spoonbeak? Them goofy-looking birds? Proud and noble creatures, yes. Used to be all over this island, they did. Haven't seen any recently, though. Who calls the shots around here? Well, I'm the proprietor. No, I mean who's in charge of the island? Suppose that'd be Baron Widebeard. Baron Widebeard? Uh-huh. You'll know him if you see him. What drinks do you serve? We've a whole caboodle of buccaneer beverages. Blackbeard's rum, peg leg, Texas medicine, Admiral Nosehair's old unsanitary, poop deck, and cat guts. Let me know if any of them interest you. Tell me about Blackbeard's rum. They used to make it from authentic Blackbeard. Nowadays, it's mostly old rope and tar. Ugh. What's Pegleg like? It has quite a kick. I have to keep it in isolation, else it rattles the other drinks off the shelf. What's Texas medicine? It's a powerful concoction. Not for the faint of heart. Or stomach. Tell me about Admiral Nosehair's old and sanitary. It tastes fine, but don't look too closely at the floaty bits. What's poop deck? Very popular with your young party pirate types. It's a girl's drink. Don't listen to him. Cat guts better not be made out of cats. Whoa, Nelly. It got that name because of its feline and bravening qualities. What? It makes Moggies tougher. Gives cats guts. Oh, okay. Never mind. I want a drink, but I don't want to spend any money. You're in a pickle. Hey, maybe Captain Rehab will offer to buy you a drink. Don't even joke about that, Friday. Time to set sail. Bye now. I'd better haul anchor. Huh. It is fun to stroke cactuses, but I'm on a mission. I've heard of this place. It used to be popular back in the heyday of piracy. It is fun to stroke
The Cutania doesn't sail in the traditional sense. I can't actually control where it goes, and right now I want to be here. The Cutania does- I can't actually- I'm already here. It's a bit out of my price range. Hello, aren't you pretty? He sounds angry. I'd wipe the sultry pout off her face. If it wasn't for me old nemesis, the breakages must be paid for policy. Gentlemen, I would like to buy this eye hook. That is being marvellous. 700 dollars, please. The wrist guard is being extra. Will you be paying in coin or bullion? About that. Will you accept bullion rather than bullion? You cannot be buying quality nautical supplies with a kind of thin broth, young lady. Curses. Will you accept an IOU? No, we are finding it unwise to trust pirate types. No offence meant. That's alright, I was trying to scam you. Can I trade you something for it? Possibly. We are trading in all kinds of nautical memorabilia. Bones, beard cuttings, pictures and clothes. But you would have to be swapping something pretty special to get an eye hook though. Will you just please give it to me? Of course. On the condition that you are giving us 700 dollars first. Gah! A pox on trade. A pox on commerce. A pox on the Protestant work ethic that catalyzed the rise of capitalism, directly causing my current predicament. <laughs> Never mind, I don't want it. They're all a bit gory for my taste. Gentlemen, I- That is being the risk. Will you be paid? About- Never mind, I don't want it. It's just for show. There's no treasure in it. My life would be easier if I just sliced up everyone who got in my way. But I can't afford a sword. I don't have a cannon. And release... I, th I think the Cutania would overbalance with that thing on her. They've got an amazing range. The gaps are pretty big. It'd only work for sharks and stuff. I still have two legs. It's a bit out of my price range. I'd love to tear it down and stamp it into a papery mush, but it says defacing this poster is an offence punishable by transmutation. Also, it's too high. I prefer flaming torches. You can't lead a mob with an oil lamp. It does look like it would make a good swing. I don't want one. I'd hate to be knocked down by a tugboat and have people find that book on me. Ahoy! Hello, flower. What are you looking for? I'm a saucy maritime wench looking for adventure. I was married to a pirate once, but it didn't last. Why not? Oh, you know, the brutality, the debauchery, the foul language. He just couldn't take it. What do you sell? In the store of Babylon. Odds and ends, bric-a-brac. This and that? Exactly. Peanuts? Yes. Shoehorns? No. Piano keys? Yes. Dinosaurs? No. 
But there's a sale on poisonous lizards. Buy two, get the least poisonous half price. What of spoon beaks? I think we've a few plush spoon beaks in the cuddly toys section. No, I'm looking for the real thing. Well, this island used to be overrun with the things. They used to stroll in here, bald as anything, shedding feathers and upsetting the children. So noble. I've seen out of them for a while now. That's a bit odd, don't you reckon? Odd? I sell human brains in three colours. Ah. What's all this hoo-ha about Baron Widebeard? Oh, the Baron's here doing a reading of his new book. He gets right involved in his reading. Is the book any good? An instant bestseller. Impressive. Uh, not really. Beardor banned me from selling any competition. All other books are over in the freebie basket. Toodaloo. The Cutania's already pretty full of soft toys. Free books. I think I'll have this one. It's a book about birds. And we all got home in time for oatmeal. It does look like it would make a good swing. Ahoy there, Baron. Hello, lass. Are you enjoying the reading? I... Yes, I've been told my prose is powerful yet soulful. Like Sean Bean? Exactly. What brings you to my barony? I... I expect you're just the first of my fans to arrive. Everyone wants a piece of the Baron. Is there anything you want to ask now you've finally met me? How wide is your beard? Four metric hogsheads. Wow! It looks like a cactus. It's very prickly. Have a feel. No, no thank you. Ahoy there, Baron! Hello, lass. Are you enjoying the reading? I... Yes, I've been told my prose is powerful yet soulful. Like Sean Bean? Exactly. What brings you to my barony? I... I expect you're just the first of my fans to arrive. Everyone wants a piece of the barn. Is there anything you want to ask now you've finally met me? Where do you get your ideas from? When I'm stuck for inspiration, I have a wee dram and an early night. And fresh ideas appear to you in dreams? No, my ghostwriter comes up with them while I'm sleeping. So, you're promoting a book? That's right. Wide Beard, Behind the Beard. The life story of me, Baron Ironfoot Widebeard. How did you get a name like Ironfoot? I have iron feet. Your parents must have been interesting. <clears throat> I don't talk about my family. Surely you mention them in your autobiography? Of course not. The book's about me, not them. Well, what does it start with? <clears throat> Chapter 1. Kids I didn't like at nursery school. Whoa, I've heard enough. Ready to rush off and buy a copy so soon. I forget the power of my words. Isn't your biography getting awful reviews? Bah! Those book critic hacks can't write. How come? I had their hands cut off. Bye-bye, Baron. But in the end, it turned out to be cauliflower. Bye-bye, Baron. Are you looking to get my signature, dear? Uh, no. Curses. He noticed me trying to swipe it. Are you looking to get my signature, dear? Uh, no. Curses. He noticed me trying to swipe it. Sheer, bare-faced daring. How to talk to birds. Sounds like a 70s chat-up manual. Rubbing them together didn't do much. I cannot use those things with each other. I don't think those things will work together. Which is how I got that scar.
there's no one there. I don't think the stall is open yet. There she blows. Did you say something? No. Avast behind. What was that? Nothing. I think a gopher sneezed. I've seen a lot of booty in my time. Do stop muttering, girl. I'm Nelly, the pirate. Who are you? I am the baroness. My husband is the baron. We own all that you can see here. At the moment, you pretty much fill my field of vision. Why are you here, freebooter? Looking for buried treasure. How tiresome. What are you doing here? I'm a fabulously wealthy aristocrat. What do you think I'm doing? Making charitable visits to local invalids? No, you dimwit. I'm shopping. What are you shopping for? I'm shopping for the latest fashions. Or I would be if this damn store hadn't closed. I hate to think that this outfit might be out of style. No, it looks great. Maybe. At least standing next to you will make me look better. As a pirate, I imagine you're happy wandering around like a ragged dishcloth. As Baroness, I have a responsibility to look stylish. Check you out. What do you know about spoon beaks? What are they? Some kind of boat shoe? No, they're birds. Big old birds. Big old mysteriously vanished birds. Oh, never heard of them. Sorry. Really? They used to live on this island. Young lady, I am a baroness. I have no time for bird spotting. Well, I'm gnashing. Oh, how horrible. No, I mean I'm going. Oh, how marvellous. Hurry now. They're all moth-eaten and threadbare. Also, wind I think they'd crumble if I even touched them. It's covered in notices. Lost peg leg answers to Stumpy. Last seen in the gents at the barnacle. Ahoy, matey. Well, hello, sweetheart. What can blind Jimmy Thimble do for you? Are you a musician? Oh, nothing so grand. I'm just a fellow with a banjo. I man the toll booth here. Have you seen any spoon beaks lately? I ain't seen nothing lately. Yeah, it's a funny thing, though. Yes? I work here all night and all day. From time to time, I hear bird squawks drifting over from yonder island. Really? From Soul Island? That's right, honey. Hmm. Will you let me past? Afraid not. I'd love to help you, gal, but I can't let you through without a gate pass. How can I get a gate pass? Truth be told, Baron Whitebeard is the only soul in Meath who has a pass. One time, the tourist was going across all the time. Looking at the funny little men over there. Then, about a month ago, the Baron withdrew all the gate passes. Ain't that a thing? Why would the Baron be interested in the island? I can't say. People used to say a great treasure was hidden somewhere on the island. Perhaps he's looking for it. So the Baron has the only gate pass? Sorry, honey. Please, will you let me pass then? I can't do it. I need my job. Well, if I got Baron Widebeard's pass, then would you open the gate? I guess so, but I don't know if it's safe over there. Don't worry, Mr. Thimble. Nothing frightens Nelly Cootalot. What's that about funny little men? Yeah, I never seen them. Tourists used to love going to see those little guys. Then a leper colony sprung up and the tourists stopped coming. A leper colony? Yeah, the Baron used it as a reason to take back all the gate passes. And there was another thing. What? I only know what I heard. There's a magic man on Saul Island. A magic man? I hear he works enchantments near old Saul Mine. Bye, Jimmy. 
Come back soon, honey. I guess that's Soul Island. I can't move it. Bury me with my head on my feet. Something incomprehensible is scribbled on the wall. It's just crazy gibberish. Ahoy, fellow sea dog. <laughs> uh, what? I was laughing at the idea of you being... <laughs> That's la... That... I'd better haul... Huh. Who calls the shop? Well, I... Uh, no. Both... Barry... Uh, you Time to set sail. Bye now. Avast! What? If you want to peruse the fabulous rogues gallery, there be a mandatory m Eh? This How? Well... Ooh, look! An indigo tankard! The Cutania doesn't sail in the traditional sense. I can't actually control where it goes, and right now I want to be here. I don't think those things... Can it use that here? I cannot combine those things. I cannot use. 